いただきます。新米。Enjoy。Hi everyone, my name is Koi. I'm from Vietnam. Hi, my name is Ray from Japan. Today we're here at this place called Vietnamese Street Kitchen, right here in Birmingham, United Kingdom. And I'll be showing my Japanese friend the art of Vietnamese street food. Ray, have you heard of bánh mì before? Ah,、uh, yeah, I've heard it, but I haven't tried it, so I don't know how it tastes like. And you're about to have your first bánh mì ever. Yes. Should we go in? Yeah, let's go. I'll see you. Thanks. And this is bánh mì, the Vietnamese sandwich that has consistently been ranked as one of the world's most delicious sandwiches for many years. Yeah, it looks very nice. It looks very nice. Do you know any story behind it? I do actually.、Um, yeah. So、uh, before it became one one of the most famous dish from Vietnam. Bánh mì is originally a French baguette.、Oh. You know the long French baguette, the yeah, famous one. Yes.、Yeah. Yeah, so bánh mì is actually originally a French baguette. So basically, Vietnam was under French colonization、mm -hmm. in the 19th century. In 1859, they brought along to the country, to the south of the country, the,、mm -hmm. the baguette with them because obviously they they loved their baguettes. So at first, bánh mì was the same as a typical French baguette, about 80 centimeters long, soft, and normally appeared in a French. Breakfast, and the baguette was then allowed by Saigon government、mm -hmm. to be served in primary schools' menus. They became smaller and shorter,、mm -hmm. like the shape of the Vietnamese bread these days, to serve in higher quantities.、Mm -hmm. And after a while, people in Saigon felt that it took too much time to sit down and eat bread, butter, pate on a plate. So they figured out a way to add fillings into the baguette, and by doing that, workers can take away and carry the sandwich version conveniently. And that's how the Vietnamese bánh mì was born, and it's become one of the most popular dish from Vietnam today. Very interesting. So,、oh, what's inside? What's in it? So, in the modern days, these days, there are so many different versions of bánh mì since it has become like a signature dish of Vietnam. Not only famous in Vietnam, but also very famous internationally. So, it's really hard to answer what the The most correct way to make the true Vietnamese bánh mì is, but I would say the most classic way is the the Saigonese style from the south of Vietnam because that's where it came from. It would normally contain these ingredients. So we have the baguette. Inside the baguette, we have pate, cilantro leaves, cucumber, pickled carrots or vegetables, roasted meat, normally chicken or pork. Then we have steamed pork roll, Vietnamese ham, and some people may like to add some chili too. And oh yeah, we we do have yeah, some chili here in, inside. Yeah. <laughs> Itadakimas. Xin mai. Enjoy. Did I pronounce right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I ate chili. But it's this one, the red one. Hmm. It's called. That's called. The meat bánh mì、mm. is originally from from Saigon, like was introduced to. And in the meat bánh mì, they normally have two versions: pork or chicken,、mm. grilled pork or grilled chicken. Yeah. Now we're having a pork one. Really nice.、Mm. It's way better than I thought. I didn't expect. Glad to hear that. Yeah.、Mm. Very nice. Pate, you know pate? It's like pork liver. That one, like、mm, this one. I'll show you. Like the creamy sauce. It's like very thin, so it's hard to see. See this part right here. Mmm. Okay. Yeah. It's like the、uh, the very important ingredient for to make a good bánh mì. I thought it's more simple, like salad,、mm. food,、mm. like a just normal sandwich. But it wasn't. So many ingredients. Yeah, I didn't even know that.、Mm. It's a mixture of、um, of east and west. It's a mixture of different ingredients, a mixture of history, cultures inside one bánh mì, and that's why that's why I think that's that's one of the reasons why it it became so popular.、Mm -hmm. Aside from pho, you know pho, right? The famous pho. Yeah. You had before, of、yeah, course、yeah. you know it. So aside from pho, 
Bang Mi is um, it's like the most internationally recognized Vietnamese food mm. and the word Bang Mi was also added to the Oxford Dictionary Okay, really? And I didn't know that Yeah, now you know, it's because Bien Bang Mi <laughs> and that's why when people eat this food they, uh, they don't call it Vietnamese bread, they don't call it sandwich, they don't call it Vietnamese baguettes or whatever mm -hmm. they call it by a section name which is Bang Mi Yeah, it's not the normal sandwich, so mm -hmm. it's not sandwich, it's Bang Mi Bang Mi, it's <laughs> yeah. one of the world's best sandwich Yeah, thank you for introducing me No problem I'll come back for sure For sure, yeah. and you come to Vietnam to have some more as well Yeah, they will <laughs> oh. So I never get the chance to know about Bien Mi. Mm -hmm. Bien Mi. So it's really interesting to know. You never saw it in Japan before? Never. Never seen it. Maybe there is, but yeah. I've never seen, seen it in my life so far. Oh. So it's really interesting. So pho, probably, pho is probably more yeah, popular in Japan. I think everyone, mo mostly everyone knows pho, but not Bien Mi. Mm -hmm. So it was really interesting. But after today, you you yeah. pick got some more yeah. and and actually, I really enjoy it. So I really want to try another Vietnamese food as well. Mm. Good, and you'll be having a lot more, yeah. not just bang me. But in in general, basically, we eat very good food in in yeah. Asia. Yeah, yeah. I love Asian food. Yeah, I love Japanese food as well. I love sushi, yeah. ramen. Yeah. Of course, I really love Vietnamese food. Yeah. And I'm proud of it, so and I'm glad you love Bang Me today. Yeah, thank you for introducing me. It was amazing. To Asian food. To Bang Me. To Bang Me, yeah, cheers. Yeah. Nice, good. Oh, <laughs>